Hey guys, welcome back to the next episode of Let's Play Skyward Sword. In this episode we're going to head straight into a cutscene. I do love the some of the orchestrated tracks. I think this is one of the romance themes in the game. Oh no it isn't. It's I really find this track beautiful. Such a nice voice. But that song, I do like it. It is basically the main theme of the game. That's her theme backwards. We all know it. I'm glad to see my love wing got you out of bed. I was pretty sure you'd sleep in and forget to meet me this morning. <laughs> Link, always the romanticist. Probably is the one the goddess has. It sounds gorgeous too. I asked father about it. He says it's called a harp. <laughs> okay, so obviously they don't really have much instruments up here. That's a bit sad. Well, I guess it's a small island. I've made the wrap myself and we get to use it in today's ceremony. Between the harp and this outfit, I'm going to make a great goddess today. <laughs> we usually refer to um, the, the, the other half, as in the wife or whatever, as the goddess sometimes. It's a bit of a joke. I'm going to answer all the soppy things, because that's who I am. This is a romance theme as well. I, I love this bit. Not the bit before, but this particular bit of the music. Yeah, when I came home to play this game, um, I was seeing this scene as I was pretty much um, coming out of... Yeah, kind of a breakup. So, um, I was expecting to hate every element of the romance in this game, even though it is a very simple and very heartwarming. And I actually found it to be rather heartwarming, even, you know, pretty much... Father, I don't know if he can do it. <laughs> I, lo I, I love the banter between the two of them as well. It's brilliant. It gives a feel feels a bit more, you know, natural between the two of them. But yeah, as I said, I was expecting to hate it because of that reason, and it was really heartwarming. I found myself laughing and chortling along, which was good. Which means the romance is kind of, I don't know, either my thing or just it works. He's going to have perfect control of his bird today to win. <laughs> it's basically Avatar, but I don't care. I really couldn't care less if they ripped it from Avatar. I'm critical of the game, yes, but I do enjoy playing it, and I enjoy how the story unfolds up to a point, anyway. Really? I kind of wish they made something more of the Loft Wings themselves. We'll see later on, but what's one of the things is that special connection is kind of just the fact that it's a rare Loft Wing. But apart from that, it's just story... It, I guess it's background, and not everything has to be tied into, like, the Goddess or something, which is interesting. Yeah, so it probably will vanish. And there is Link with all, with, always with his pierced earrings, which is a nice touch. And they're both pierced, so you know, you've not got the one side, which apparently if you pierce your ear one side, it's gay. If you don't pierce the other side, it's not. By gay, I do actually mean homosexual, not, you know, the term gay that uses as an insult for people. Her eyes jitter. That's something they're seeing a lot in this in, in this particular game. Their eyes jitter about, and I'm not sure if it's like programmed in or if it's that whole watery, dewy-eyed thing the Japanese do. But I don't see people's eyes jitter that much. Usually, that means they're having a seizure. But whatever. <laughs> I love that element. The fact that she felt in truth that she felt like um, put out by the friendship between him and his bird. I mean, look at the way he, the way he's looking now is clearly is clearly something that Zelda should probably worry about. It's like, oh yeah. I, <laughs> she 
she's just sat there like looking like whatever and the thing is they don't blink naturally they blink like when it's another right in a cutscene that annoys me she could leave it here and she won't blink and that's something they should that's something they should fix in the next game with the cutscenes is they should like have specific <laughs> blinking times so they don't look whatever <laughs> oh my goodness she's actually got a she's 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 bland in the whole role of stereotypical female friend in the whole anime thing but she has some personality, which is better than most games. See, I don't know whether if, she, if she's being sarcastic at this point, like she was before, it's just funny. But maybe she's not being sarcastic. Now. Maybe I'm getting the wrong end of the stick. Maybe that's why I liked it back then. Hey! That sounds like Terra, the same voice. I'm pretty sure. Tetra, sorry, not Terra. <laughs> Still practice. Yeah, so to Sundre. Well, I guess. <laughs> yeah, okay. I'll push you off, you go. I love the way they actually make her, like, decisive to go out and do stuff. Like, she actually, as soon as she realizes that, she jumps off, calls her wing, and, ki and you know, obviously, things are going to work out well. But I love the way they do that to her. They give her a bit of personality. And they make her pretty decisive. If the bird had that much problem flying that far, I... Yeah. It's unheard of for a bird to be fed up by its master, calling them every five seconds. Now, some of the music here I like, but the problem is they use this piece far too many times in moments like this, and it just becomes the point where it's actually only like a minute long, and you hear it for such a long time that you get bored by it, and that, that does annoy me. That's okay, it could have nearly died, but I'm sure that's not a problem. Right, well, let's find if our bird has gone. Oh, brilliant. The ceremony's starting. Brilliant. I think you should go and explain the situation to him, see if he's willing to just delay the race a little longer. Well, that's probably a good idea. Just the fact that my bird has disappeared, I guess I say, well, you should have been gone sooner. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. That means I can run along and... Oh, yeah, we run along and tell him to go see him in his quarters. That's, uh, I don't know. That just seems so pompous. But it's better than us running along to tell him to run him back. Run him back. I'm sure your bird's fine. If your bird's that weak, then go get another bird. Anyway, this is a link running when he's actually running. Notice how fast your stamina drains. The one thing is, the game should have had an upgradable stamina feature, but it doesn't. So your stamina will always remain that short, which is a little bit annoying. Anyway, he's not going to open the door yet, so ignore him. Uh, we just got to speak to Mr. Howell. Oh, this is another. This is someone, the only girl I think in the entire, uh, the only female girl at this age. Pippet is the one I ask about birds. I saw him downstairs a minute ago. Why don't you look for him? Let's go talk to Pippet then. But first, let's talk to Mr. Howell and get that sorted out. Oh, what's wrong, Link? You're looking a little pale. What? No, your laughing is missing? How strange and troubling. Do you, do you think you could find him? You're going to start looking for him now? How will you make it back in time to fly in the ceremony? Well, if I don't have my bird, how will I make it to fly in the ceremony in the first place? Mm, logic. Looks like your participation in the ceremony hinges on feather or not you can find that bird on to. But yeah. See, so the headmaster summoned me? Alright then, I'll go speak with him immediately. So, uh, 
owe it to you for helping me out earlier, so don't worry about the ceremony for now. You focus on finding your loft wing. Since it's a nice like place like this, I'm sure they're not going to matter that much about not finding a loft wing or whatever, but I'm trying to stretch this introduction. Actually, maybe I'm not stretching this introduction out that long. Du, 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 du. Oh, this is upstairs. So upstairs there is the bathroom, which is what we were past Zelda's room. Howell's room. Karain's room, who's the girl we just saw. And instructor Owlin. And then the front doors, which is the gi headmaster Gipporagora. So we're gonna look at we're gonna go talk to Pippet, who hopefully will still be here. Uh oh, is he finished? No, he hasn't finished with his barrel duty. What? Your loft wing won't come when you call for it. Why would a guardian bird not come when it's called? Because it's had enough of being of that. He obviously is overcompensating for quite a bit in his character. Uh, all right, he's still lifting, trying to lift that mate, that first barrel. Put it on its side and roll it, mate. Roll it might help. So let's go to the plaza. Oh my god, the bling light on my HD PVR. It's called a bling light, by the way. It's this blue strip that lights up when it's recording. I hate it so much. It's just the most ugliest thing I think I've ever seen in my life. Um, but yeah. Sadly, that's on, because I've got to turn it off. It's the first time I'm recording with this new computer, actually, which uh, makes me a little bit worried, but we'll see. I love this kind of music. I mean, it gets a bit annoying, but I don't know. When I, when I start helping, I kind of get to... I think I over-exaggerate how much I really like things. What's this kid? Hold up, Link. Hey, Link. Could you help me with something? Right. Sadly, I find this can be really troublesome to pull off, and I really don't enjoy doing it, whatever. Now, that's a beetle. Um, a, st a sky stag beetle, and they're kind of hard to catch. We don't have a net at the moment, so it's impossible for us to catch them, so let's, let's ignore that guy. Uh, now, hearts grow on plants, and also you'll notice there's more hearts at the top. That is actually really good, because without those hearts, it would be very, very difficult to... Um, play this game, because it a, it's a lot more difficult than previous Zelda titles. It's still easy in terms of gaming. Anyway, here's the three which are the most annoying group of them. Um, you know, Groose, that... You know, Groose, that charm was a pain, all this scratching and pecking. <laughs> of course it was. Do you think Big Crimson Loftwing like that was going to go down without a fight? Right, we got him. I don't care how tough these birds are supposed to be. He's not getting out of that pen anytime soon, boys. <laughs> Whoa, uh, Link, yeah, so, uh, yeah. Just how long you been standing here? Link's just, like, <laughs> silent in his just ability to... <laughs> What's your problem anyway? Oh, I got it. You're here to talk about today's race. I can see those droopy eyes of yours. They're pleading, oh, goose. Can you please find it in your heart to let me win today? Please. You're just so desperate to win that you can't get some alone time with Zelda up on the statue of the goddess at the end of the ceremony. We could just have some alone time anyway, if I asked for it. Well, sorry, pal. Goose doesn't do charity for whims. My advice? Work hard and wish with all your heart. You might even come in second. See, come to think of it. How come I don't even see your bird? Where is that scruffy pile of red feathers? I can't imagine what happened to it. Do you think his tiny brain got confused by all those clouds and got lost? You lay, you lay off, on, you, <laughs> you lay off my do right now. I flatten you. Everyone knows I got the slickest pompadour. Is that the name of it? Pompadour in town. Yeah. That's the campus point I think I've ever seen in my life. So you know, we're all getting tired of how you let anyone, you never let anyone forget you and Zelda go way back. You've been friends since you were kids. Big deal. Doesn't change the fact that we float around, th th oh, whatever, float through life with heads in your clouds. Some guys do. Would you wake up? Would you wake up straight in your hair and grow a backbone already? Oh, for goodness sake, he goes on far too long. This theme actually has a lot of um, reminiscent of the pirate ship theme in Wind Waker. And who might you be talking about, Groose? Ooh, uh, shit, son. Yeah, Zelda. Yeah, nah, it's uh, n nothing. Yeah. Return camp point. Don't even try it. Don't even try it, Chris. You're picking on Link again, aren't you? He's a student of the Academy, like all of us. Oh. I love the hit the face music change. His music's annoying, but I like the fact they put like a changed deflated version in. Why do you insist on bullying him around so much? 
Ye, uh, suppose. Don't ask me why I've given him a black man's voice. You suppose? Suppose what? Oh no. What, what? Oh, it's so creepy. I suppose you, uh... Give me just sit back towards the night hut so I'll find a bird. So if I find that bird, I'll get used to the taste of failure. It's your special flavor. Yeah. Okay, that was pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. I hate to say it, but I'm beginning to suspect those blockheads are something to do with your love wings' fans. Oh, come on! Oh, thank you. That's really, that's really kind. Yeah, because basically, it's only going to happen when we've got our bird ready. And probably there are people who pause on that frame trying to get Zelda obscured. I admit that she's pretty hot in this game. Um, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Just don't read into that. She's quite cute. She's cute, but also gets shit done. Which is more than, like, Tetra, who I don't like anyway. Because, I mean, you can't say that Tetra's hot because she's like a child. Um, same with the rest of them. Anyway. This is Skyloft. Now we're going to look around Skyloft at another point. Um, I'll go through everywhere there is before we inevitably leave. But um, first we'll start off, just go to where we're supposed to go. There are people we could talk to, but sod it. So it's taken long enough just to get to this point. There we go. Now this is a point over here. Remember this for later on. Look at this thing. Who knows how long this statue's been here. Okay, whatever. It's got one eye, and you, it also tells you that you can press C to look around and find the statue. And he does have one eye, yay, for surprises. The fact that there are, th there's that on the, yeah. Sense, it's pretty cool. So let's uh, go, oh, okay, we have blood sucking monsters, no kids allowed. Well, anyway, the next worst thing about this game is the swimming swimming controls, which we'll get into later on. Uh, they are a special mention of bull crapping. Worst controls ever. But anyway, we should head back to the um, the instructor. Sorry, not the instructor, the academy, because surely somewhere there's going to be a sword we can use. But anyway, we'll, we'll uh, head back in the next episode of Let's Play Skyward Sword um, when we see if we can find our bird and get through all there and we get a sword and get some good old sword training. See you guys later. Take care.